Welcome back, everybody. So it's a great pleasure to, to introduce Kang Zhu, uh, who will give his second lecture of his series on Hodge theory, Higgs bundles on moduli spaces of manifolds and hyperbolicity. Uh, Kang. OK, so th thanks. OK, so uh, OK, so uh, let, let me recall what, what, what I have done uh, in the lecture one. Uh, in lecture one, we have shown um, follows, uh, just um, given a smooth family, uh, uh, of uh, n fold, n manifold of semi simple uh, canonical sheaf and with maximal variation. Then uh, we take a good partial compatibility x to y on the s. And okay, so the, 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 the complement s is a normal causing divisor. And then we take further uh, po po projective compatibility. Okay, so. Um, so then uh, uh, we, we, we have introduced the so-called uh, deformation Higgs bundle attached to the log smooth family okay, and of this uh, partial good compatibility. And this uh, uh, Higgs bundle, um, deformation Higgs bundle can be written as graded thesis, FPQ, just the cohomology of wedge product of tangent shift along the fibers, relative log tangent shift. Then we have the extended Kodaya Spans map called PQ, sending FPQ to FP minus one, Q plus one times omega one log, log, log S. It looks uh, exactly like uh, uh, a system of Hodge bundles, okay? And uh, then what, 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 I, what, what we have done in my first lecture, then there exists a Higgs map from F tau to E theta tensor A inverse and uh, after taking a high power of fair fiber product okay, uh, of origin family, but the base uh, uh, stays the same, but the fiber is a, a, a fiber product. Okay, okay. where uh, E theta is a system of Hodge bundles or uh, of a quasi canonic extension of a polarized variable Hodge structure on Y without S and the T. And remember that the T is additional singularity in the in, in the in, in the constructing of uh, um, in the construction of the new 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 family. Okay, and A is given ample line bundle over Y. So what does mean this uh, Higgs map? Just means that we have this kind of commutative di di diagonal. Okay, yeah, I, I I I write this in, in the in the graded pieces. Okay, and this uh, um, this comparison map row satisfies certain Tauheli injectivity in following sense. Okay, so you look at the the ten log tangent sheet on the base and acting on the first uh, deformation. First the pieces of deformation Higgs bundle. This is precisely the structure shift on Y. Then on the, the usual Kodaya spans map goes to the, in, the, the space of infinitesimal deformation of the fibers. This is just uh, the, the, the second pieces of uh, second piece of uh, uh, deformation Higgs bundle. Then you do this uh, comparison map. Go to go to the 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 second piece of system of Hodge bundle tends to A inverse. You look at the composition map. This composition map is injective, okay? This, uh, this is the so-called Tauheli injectivity in our, in our comparing theory. Okay, so then by taking the, the double dual of the extension and note that the co-dimension of Y bar uh, without Y is big or equal to two, so then we obtain uh, extension, uh, extension of this comparison map. So everything is now over y bar over this projective base. Okay. So then, um, by taking the then uh, since we have this this sort of Tauheli uh, injectivity, we can run the nozio uh, nozio iteration of class space map. We take the maximum one. If we take the maximum one, we get a following uh, following a big subshift A in the certain symmetric power of log, log differential form, log, log differential form on the base, and where A is ample. 
ample uh, uh, where uh, A is ample over some open set uh, in Y bar. And usually people use this big subshift, use, use this uh, existence of this big, big subshift as a black box without man mentioning how, how, how this big subshift uh, 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 constructed. And uh, yesterday I spent uh, um, a lot of time to, exp uh, to explain the construction of of this uh, of this uh, big subshift, okay. So uh, it, it 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 uh, it cost a lot of time. So, okay. In fact, uh, there is a second construction of this comparison map, um, without uh, taking the high power of the five product by but replacing the original family by Kawamata base change, y prime. Okay. Then we will find uh, a section in the dualizing shift power mu times the pullback of some ample line bundle inverse power nu on y prime. So then we will, we will get uh, this kind of comparison map. On the y prime, just the pullback of original deformation fixed on, the, on y prime, we get the comparison map, okay? And, uh, okay, so this is uh, the second construction. And um, so now today I, I like to use, uh, um, use the existence of this uh, such a big subshift to show something, to show some geometry on the, on the base, uh, 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 log base, okay. Uh, uh, y bar with S bar, okay. Okay, we, we start with a, a classical Picard, Picard theory, okay. Okay, Emil Picard two uh, two important theory in complex analysis. First uh, is so called the little um, Picard theory says that there's no no constant holomorphic map from the complex one to P one remove uh, uh, three point. And the, 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 uh, this theory is very easy to prove just using the, the in the uh, uh, con, con, uh, uh, the, uh, people learn this in the um, in the in the lecture of. Uh, um, a, a complex function of a holomorphic function of one variable just using new new theory. But uh, then we have the second theory. This is so called the big Picard theory. Okay, so this means that um, pick up the punctured, uh, punctured disk, D star, and that gamma be a holomorphic map from D star into P1 without uh, uh, removing three points, then gamma can be extended as holomorphic map. From D to P to 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 uh, from D to P one. This means that the singularity um, uh, of gamma is not is not essential, just the pole. Okay. So um, so now we want we, we go to the high dimension analog. We see a complex space is broadly hyperbolic if there's no no constant holomorphic map from C to X. We see a complex space is a Kobayashi hyperbolic. If the Kobayashi, Kobayashi Posado metric is no degenerated, uh, and certainly uh, one can show that uh, Kobayashi uh, Kobayashi hyperbolic in Kobayashi hyperbolicity implies the body hyperbolicity. Okay, so then uh, um, then uh, around the seventeenth, uh, Kobayashi and uh, Osha and the Borea. Uh, Put an uh, important theory in, uh, 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 on the uh, final modular space of polarized Abelian run. They show that uh, it is uh, Brody and the Kobayashi hyperbolic, and it is also Picard uh, and it, uh, the Picard extension theory hold also true by taking the Barry Borel compatibility. Okay, so. Um, and inspired by uh, about Picard extension theory, uh, yeah, uh, Java Pierka Pe um, uh, formulate a following notion: a finite type skin X over complex lemma is called Borel hyperbolic if any finite type reduces the skin S over C and a holomorphic map from S to X is indeed algebraic. Okay, for example. Ex exponential map from C star to C star is holomorphic, but it's not algebraic. And um, any holomorphic map 
gamma from from a skin of finite type to C star, uh, remove uh, one point is algebraic. Okay, this is a basic example for uh, um, pick, uh, um, big uh, Picard theory and uh, uh, and the Borel Haber body. And we also uh, we we also recall the following theory uh, of uh, Haber body city on the period mapping. This is a theory due to Griffith Schmidt, a quasi projective manifold end up with a locally injective period mapping is Brody and the Kobayashi have a body. Okay, the pool relies on the fundamental theory due to Griffith Schmidt that holomorphic sectional courage of Hodge metric is bounded about by a negative constant. Okay, so uh, motivated by the above theory, we study the various Hyperbolicity on the modular stacks of manifold of semi ample canonic uh, uh, line bundle. Okay, so I, I state the following theory, but not in the full generality. Okay? Let U be a quasi projective manifold with a smooth projective commodification. Let F be a family of N manifold with semi ample canonic line bundle, uh, uh, um, uh, canonic, uh, canonic shift. And assume that the classifying map from U to the associated modular space is quasi finite. Then U is Brody hyperbolic, U is, uh, U is Kobayashi hyperbolic if, if the, the canonical sheath along the fiber is semi ample and big. Okay, this theory is due to several uh, research groups. Okay, few vector um, put U is Brody hyperbolic if omega is ample. Two and the young um, put U is Kobayashi hyperbolic if omega is still ample. Popper, uh, uh, Chaiji, and Wu uh, put that U is Brody hyperbolic if omega is big. Then Denya put U is Brody hyperbolic if omega is semi ample. U is Kobayashi hyperbolic if omega is semi ample and big. And, 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 and there are still many results, but I will not mention anymore. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's uh, let's explain what is the main idea in the pool. Okay, when you so-called thing solar metric HF induced by Hodge metric with the Griffiths Yukawa coupling on the Kodaya Spence map. I yesterday I talked about this Griffiths Yukawa coupling on the Kodaya Spence map. I will repeat again. The metric has the strongly negative holomorphic section curvature arising from the semi-negativity semi of the kernel of Kodai Spence map and the Kawamata feedback theory on the positivity of the direct image of the relative purely dualizing shift, okay? Uh, in the canonic polarized case, two and the young has uh, met, uh, use, uh, use another approach, the so-called very petition metric arising from the keller einstein metric along the fibers. Since the fiber, the canonic alignment on the fiber is ample. So by your, we, we can solve the Keller Einstein equation. We have the so called Keller Einstein metric. Then uh, we take the L2 metric by integration of this Keller Einstein metric along the fiber. We get metric on the base manifold. Then you just uh, run again the Griffiths recover coupling. Then we need the negativity. The negativity of the kernel of Kodai Spence map comes from serious curvature computation for the VPTG metric. This is the analog of uh, uh, Griffith's uh, curvature computation for the Hodge metric, okay? This, uh, you see this kind of analog. Okay, so now uh, we, uh, we, uh, I, uh, I like spend some time to explain, explain the Picard extension theory on the moduli, uh, moduli stacks, okay? So um, this is a theory due to then yeah, and uh, Stephen Lu, Sun Ran, and myself uh, uh, one years ago, we put this concept. Let's uh, 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 let's make uh, the statement: Let U uh, be a quasi projective manifold with a smooth projective commodification Y bar. Let F V to U is a family uh, be a family of N fold with semi ample canonic uh, chief omega and assume the classifying map from U to the modular space is quasi-finite. 
it means that any point, the pre-image of any point is finite. Okay, just means, uh, just means uh, this means, just means uh, quasi-finite. Then the Picard extension theory hold true. Strategy, we constructing a complex Finkler Pseudo metric on Y bar, which satisfies a curvature inequality. And second, uh, ingredients are so called, we need a generalization of loose extension theory. Okay, let, uh, let me uh, recall the original loose extension theory. This is quite, uh, uh, this is a formula in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the geometry way. Okay, let Y bar uh, be a, a projective manifold, S bar be a simple normal causing device in Y bar. Assume that some symmetric power of a uh, log one form contains an uh, ample line bound A. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the the the, the mean uh, mean assumption. Let gamma from the D star to the Y bar without S bar be a holomorphic map such that the pullback pullback. You see that we we pull back first. We pull back to the symmetric power to V this gamma to the to the uh, uh, to the punctured disk. Then we take the derivative of gamma. We get a map for the symmetric power of the pullback of one form to the symmetric power of one form on the poly disk, punctured disk. Then we take the composition map. The the state uh, the assumption is this map is not zero. It's not a totally zero. It could be. It could be. It could have some zero. Zero locus, but it's not totally zero. Okay, then gamma extends to a holomorphic map from the D to Y bar. The, it means that in the under this strong assumption, additional assumption, we get Picard extension theory. Okay, uh, let's uh, uh, try to use uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, let's uh, try to use. Uh, Loose uh, extension theory to, to pull some, 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 something. Okay, we look at uh, a baby case, um, the baby case, um, and, and, uh, a baby case. The Picard extension theory holds true for the moduli stack of projective curves. Of course, it follows also from the Kobayashi, Osha, Borel Picard extension theory with Jacobi map. Okay, uh, but uh, we here just, just uh, we explain the idea how to use uh, loose uh, extension theory. Uh, to pull the pick up, uh, loose uh, theory to pull uh, pick up extension theory for the uh, moduli stacks of uh, curves. Okay, let uh, uh, f uh, from V to mt be a universal family of curves of genus T over a finite modular space. Together with, for example, we take the name, the name Monfort commodification. Then the deformation Higgs bound has following form. This has uh, two pieces. Okay. Okay, just a very simple, just the user, just the user deformation, uh, deformation, quasi expense, uh, quasi expense deformation map. And note that the dual, text the dual, you get isomorphism. This is just the, the second symmetric power of a relative dual than she, which is isomorphic under this quasi expense map. It's isomorphic to the log dimension form on the commodification. Now, the Kawamata feedback. Tells, uh, te uh, tells us that this uh, F lower star omega two is ample over MG. It means that there exists a map on MG bar, and it's, uh, 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 it's a direct sum of ample line bundle, which is subjective to some symmetric power of direct image of omega two, okay, which is subjective over MG. Okay, now given any holomorphic map gamma for, from this uh, from the punctured disk to MG, one one finds certainly one finds the director's domain A such that the composition map does not vanish because because the, the, this map is is a subjective. So therefore, uh, we we, uh, we apply a loose extension here. You get the pool. Okay. Okay. Now we, we like uh, uh, use um, we we like uh, now we like to discussion the pickup extension theory for the general case. 
Okay, so let V over U be a family of N4. With semi ample canonic shift and with quasi finite classifying map. Okay, let Y bar be a smooth commodification. Okay, S bar is normal. Okay, so recall the compari uh, comparison map in the section 2.3. There exists a Higgs map from F tau to E theta times A inverse. Okay, and where E theta arising from a quasi canonical extension of polarized valerian host structure from a smooth family over Y bar without S bar plus T bar. T bar is a new degeneration locus. Let uh, G theta be the image of rho, which is a sub bundle sitting in E theta times A inverse. And we know that the first uh, uh, pieces of Hodge bundle G comma zero is a structure shift. And theta G has only logarithm, uh, has logarithmic pole only along S bar. Okay, this is a crucial point. So by the Toheli injectivity, when finding open set in U such as that, this map is injective everywhere. This map is injective. Injective everywhere along any tangent direction, okay? So now I'm um, given a holomorphic map, gamma, yeah, let's see, D star to you just uh, read in short uh, as C, okay, C for uh, the, the puncture disk. We assume the gamma C is size dense in U. Okay, in generally gamma C is not size dense in U, but we can just take, we, we just take a size closure that make the dimension reduction. So therefore we can assume the image of gamma C is toxic dense. Therefore, the image of gamma C intersection is in, in, intersection U, this open set is not empty. So then we pull back, pull back uh, uh, this two Higgs bundle, yeah, uh, G, uh, G, uh, G theta uh, in the e, e theta times A inverse, pull back this, uh, this two Higgs bundle to, uh, uh, to the punctured disk C, then the point wise the point wise tidy injectivity on U not allow us running the maximum no zero iteration of quadratic space map along the specific map gamma, not on the, not on the whole basis Y, but along this uh, specific map gamma. So then, then we get we get the following proposition just by running the maximum uh, quadratic space map maximum no zero quadratic space map. Along the gamma, we get this kind. Of, we get this kind of map. We get this kind of map. This lie in the kernel of something. Okay, so now we 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 are in a position to construct a things that are the metric H F and Y bar by running it a ratio of quadratic space on Y bar with length L gamma. Now this L gamma depends on this lemma depends on the map gamma. Okay. It's not maxima on the whole space, but it is maxima. This lemma is maxima along 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 the the the, the uh, this uh, this map gamma. So we, we using this way, we we, we can define a, a fixed metric. How can we define a fixed metric? Here we have the Hodge metric. We have the Hodge metric here, Hodge. And here we have the Frobenius. Here we have the Frobenius. Uh, 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 for being is study, study metric. Then put this metric together, then we take, uh, then we get uh, the metric on the, uh, on, on the, on the symmetrical power of, of, of this, uh, of the tending shift, then we take the, the, the roots, the new root, uh, sorry, not new root, uh, the roots of this, uh, the, 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 this metric is not, not, uh, not M, sorry, not M, just, uh, just, uh, just uh, uh, not M, sorry, just L, L gamma, okay? Um, not M, just the rules of L, L gamma. So then we get the lens uh, uh, for this uh, things the Pizzardo metric. So for any vector, holomorphic vector in this log, log, log tangent bound. So then we, we still need to do some small modification to make, uh, to, 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 uh, to make sure that this Pizzardo metric is bounded, bounded on you. We need some modification on the boundary, but this is quite technical. We, we will not do that. Anyway, we can do some, uh, some modification on, along the boundary 
of S bar and the T bar to map uh, the motif modified uh, things metric is bounded uh, on the U. Okay, so so we uh, we we uh, we uh, we, uh, we just call the modified metric uh, as H F alpha, which is bounded on U. Um, and uh, of course, you have to use the, 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 the theory due to Schmidt and the cardinal Kabbalah Schmidt on asymptotic behave of the Hodge match near the boundary divisor on the quasi canonic extension. We have to use this kind of estimate to, to, um, to, uh, so, so that we, can, we, we are able to, to make this kind of modification, okay? So now we, we, uh, we, we, um, we look at, uh, we, we look at the pullback of this Fink's metric, pullback to uh, pullback on the gamma to C. Then uh, by the construction, uh, sorry, here is not M, it's, uh, uh, it's L gamma. We get this kind of expression. Just look at the image, the, 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 this vector, this tangent vector under this uh, iteration lies in the kernel of the Higgs field, uh, coming from the uh, coming uh, Higgs field of the system of Hodge bundle. Here we have the uh, seeming negativity by Griffith's curvature computation, pointwise, pointwise, and pointwise Griffith's curvature computation. So this means that this means that um, okay, this means that um, the Hodge metric, the pullback of the Fink metric is a product of Hodge metric on the kernel. Of the Higgs sphere with forbidden study metric on the pullback of this uh, anti ample line bound. Now, again, okay, so just uh, I repeat uh, what I said before by Griffith's curvature formula, we show that the curvature form of the kernel of the kernel with the uh, with, uh, with the Hodge metric is a semi negative. Okay, so therefore, um, put all together, we get following curvature. Inequality. Okay, uh, uh, with with Eckhart feedback, we have done in some uh, primitive form, but with the Den Lu Sun and uh, myself, we really get this optimal form. Okay, so we, we get this kind of uh, estimate. Okay, this is uh, the the Fink's metric, the, the the lens of the Fink's metric. Take a look, the land d uh, land d v bar um, is bigger or equal to um, a constant times the pullback of the Fubin's study match. C is some, some, some no zero constant, okay? Positive no zero constant. So we get this kind of estimate. And um, now uh, let, let, let's continue. We try to use this courage inequality to get Picard extension theory. Okay, this is uh, motivated by uh, the work uh, due to Griffiths and King. We, uh, they studied the high dimensional generalization of value of distributions or also as known as Levelina theorem. With it, they obtain a Levelina theoretical pool of Borel origin theorem with a, ne a negative character. So now um, the existence of neg negativity, negatively curved complex things metric in our setting makes this pool, uh, this pool of Griffith's kin um, uh, suitable, generalized, and uh, applicable. Okay, let's state the a generalization of loose extension theorem. Okay, let uh, z and uh, let z and d be a log pair, and uh, gamma be uh, a holomorphic map from the punctured disk into z without d. Okay, assume that there exists a fixed metric on z satisfied about curvature inequality with respect to the pullback gamma then gamma extends to a holomorphic map from D to Z, okay? So this is the, 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 the generation of loose extension theory. Let's uh, uh, sketch the pool, okay? Uh, this is a really use this, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Levalina uh, argument, okay? Um, we, uh, we first, we do some calling out the tra transformation, okay? So we identify D star with the inverse puncture, the unique disk just, uh, just called the D cycle, okay? D cycle. Then we take some uh, um, some subset, uh, a sub sub disk uh, in this uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, sub ring, uh, some uh, analogs in this uh, in this uh, uh, D cycle, okay? Called the D R 
I not, I not, and R, and so on, then we can define a following leveling that characteristic function of the pullback of Frobenius, Frobenius, uh, uh, Frobenius, uh, Frobenius caliform. Oh, this is a caliform of of, of Frobenius uh, study metric. So in this in this way called the D gamma R and L. Okay, this, this is the the leveling that character, characteristic function. Okay, it's well known. Uh, anyway, I, I'm not expert uh, expert, but uh, you can see the paper by Damai or the Nakuchi Winkerman. Uh, e the growth uh, growth of this uh, leveling of function like log error if and only if this gamma can be extended holomorphic over infinity. This means that our uh, our the, our original uh, holomorphic function over punctual disk can be extended. Okay, this is equivalent. Now we have to show why why this uh, 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 leveling of function looks like uh, oh log 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 error we schedule the pool first we have the curvature inequality we get this kind of estimate okay by integration then you have to use uh, uh, leveling that characteristic function for the one one form of the pullback for being uh, uh, pullback of things metric and also holomorphic uh, section the curvature is bounded by a negative constant and and so on uh, some complicated computation of integration, you really get this kind of estimate. So then it gets the pool. Okay, this, this is the, uh, the, 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 the mean ingredient in the pool. It's really you use, uh, use uh, this, uh, this curvature estimate and also uh, this, uh, um, uh, this, le 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 uh, this leveling uh, uh, char characteristic function, okay, and so on. And as byproduct, we get also the Picard extension from the period mapping. Okay, this is precisely exactly by the same argument for a quasi projective manifold U. Okay, um, carries a locally injective Tohelian map, then applied above extension theory to maxima nosial extension, a nosial iteration of cup product with Kodai Spence map on the Griffiths. Augmented line bound. You get you get this kind of thing. This is a precisely. This is a precisely the, the iteration of the Griffith's augmented line bound. Okay, in this way, then the Hodge metric on the right side. You have the Hodge metric here on the kernel. You have the Hodge metric on the augmented line bound. This is negative. This this is a strictly negative Hodge metric. This is a, a, a semi semi negative. So in this way, you, it induces also a things the metric satisfies the required uh, coverage inequality for Picard extension theory. So therefore, then put also, um, and and this uh, Picard extension theory for the uh, for the uh, for the base or uh, carry a locally injective uh, period mapping. Okay, so. Uh, 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 I'm not sure. Uh, may, may, uh, maybe one can also try directly use uh, uh, Griffith Schmidt's theory on uh, 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 neg uh, strictly negativity of the holomorphic uh, section curvature. One can maybe can still can try to put this kind of extension theory, but I'm not sure. But uh, one can try. But it seems. But it seems that it seems that this this this, this curvature. Courage, uh, this 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 courage inequality seems seems very 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 strong. Okay, so so we get uh, the uh, uh, extent, um, Picard extension here. Okay, so next uh, step, maybe I should talk about uh, um, uh, Alakelev inequality. Uh, this is uh, uh, also I find I find this also a very nice topic. Okay, so you, 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 you uh, let, let M to be the cosa modular space of pluralized manifold using the ample canonical line bundle with a fixed uh, uh, here of the polynomial, right? And uh, we, um, we consider a map, a log map from Y to M bar, okay, Y bar to M bar, where Y is a, y, y is a curve, okay, Y is a curve. So then, 
then the negativity curve the things the metric on m um, and having such kind of negative uh, curve the things the metric on m the general principle of yaw's form of r for Schwarz lemma suggests that there must be an inequality between the logarithmic uh, hyperbolic metric on on this uh, uh, this um, uh, log curve and some singular calimetry on the modular space. Okay, if we actually construct uh, uh, a series cl classes of invertible uh, shift uh, lambda nu on the m bar, which is nef on m bar and m on m. Okay, uh, uh, and this uh, this uh, class is natural. This line is natural in the sense if we have uh, uh, if we have uh, a log map from uh, y bar s bar to m bar s bar, uh, which is induced by semi stable family, then the pullback of this uh, line bundle, which is a, a classifier map, is precisely the determinant, determinant of direct image of news, uh, 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 news plurally uh, canonic uh, dualizing shift. Okay, so we have this kind of uh, color for. Uh, on a curve inequality, okay? So this means that the slope of a direct image of new news direct image, uh, direct image of a news power of dual energy is bounded by, by this lambda, where n is the fiber dimension, okay, fiber. Fiber, fiber dimension and the n is fiber dimension, new is this power. And, and okay, so, and, and in general, uh, for any sub-bundle, sub-bundle in, in this, uh, uh, in the direct image, we have the exactly the same, same upper bound. Okay, and, and this, is, uh, this, uh, this is a sort of a la carefu in, in quality. In fact, uh, a la carefu passing, farting, sterling, in sharp form, and a la uh, put a la carefu in quality for the family of abiding world. And the feedback draw uh, shows that uh, the a la carefu equality hold true for some special family of abelian variety. They are precisely family of abelian variety over Schumacher curve with a monfold tetra group of monfold type. And the Shunni time proved a la careful, uh, uh, proved that a la careful inequality holds true strictly for family of curves and the new equal to one. In Green, Griffiths, Kerr, Yost, Dor, Peters, Felix, Dor, and, and the recent work by Picard, Gonia, Katia, uh, uh, Brada, Toledo have studied our kind of inequality for the system of Hodge bundle over curves. Okay, so um, so uh, uh, now uh, I uh, we want to show uh, we, we want to show uh, we want to show this this other careful inequality holds strictly for family of variety of general type. Okay, in contrast, this kind of uh, uh, inequality could be equality for family of abelian variety or Galabian variety, but for the family of a variety of general type, it holds strictly. Well, let's uh, okay. This is uh, the, the statement. Okay, you get the strict uh, strictly inequality for those new, if if the new pruning canonical linear system on the fiber define a birational birational map. This is important. On this condition, for those new, on this condition, you get strict inequality. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let, let, let's do uh, some. Uh, let's sketch uh, the pool because I I found the the, the, the method is interesting because we, we use the colors uh, uh, results on the uh, on the uh, uh, on the on the on the on the, on the, on the correspondence between semi semi simple objects. So let uh, mu nu denote the slope. Assume you get equality for those new, you get equality. Let the new uh, mu nu denote the slope. Then for any sub sub sub, uh, sub bundle A in this uh, in this in this vector bundle, we have inequality, right? Because we have the first uh, first result, we have inequality. So therefore, this means that uh, uh, this sub bundle is a semi semi stable vector bundle. Y bar. Okay, so now we, we, we try to get some contradiction. We consider this uh, multiplication map. It takes the symmetric power D of the of the vector. Then you have the additional map, so multiplication by D map, 
goes to the D times new pluri canonic linear system. And the kernel has a meaning. The kernel is precisely the subspace of all homogeneous polynomial of degree D in the idea defining the birational embedding of the fibers of F. So by, by apply our careful uh, inequality for the image of the D multiplication map, and we show that we show that this 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 kernel is a semi-stable sub, sub sub bundle in the symmetric power of this rex bundle of the same slope. You can imagine that. You can imagine that. Um, you, you try to find a flat basis such as that on the flat basis, this kernel is flat, then you are done, okay? So this is the, the crucial point. Uh, after a base change of Y bar and twisting with some line bundle, we may assume this wax bundle is a semi-stable of degree of zero. And SD, the, 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 the symmetric power of degree D contains the kernel as semi-stable sub-bundle of degree zero. Now we use the theory to Simpson let C down to be the category of the rect bundle over Y bar with integrable connection and the D uh, double do to be the category of semi-stable text bundle of degree D, uh, degree, degree zero. Then there exists an equivalent, equivalent functor okay, between these two categories. Uh, this is for semi-stable object, okay, not only for polystable, but also for semi-stable object, because here we, we, we are working on the semi-stable vector bundle of degree, degree zero. So we just recall some consequence of this, uh, this, this, uh, this functor. The functor F preserves the tensor product. In particular, it preserves the symmetric power. The underlying bundle of the vector bundle uh, of, Higgs, of Higgs bundle with the zero Higgs wave, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, okay, you get, uh, you, you get, uh, 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 you get integral connection and which is isomorphic to it. This, this means that on the line vector bundle of the bundle of this image with integral connection is isomorphic to it. The E does not change. We call this connection to be canonic and denote Labla canonic on E. The connection Labla canonic E preserved on E prime and the uh, Labla canonic restrict to E prime is precisely Labla canonic of E prime. Consequently, for any semi-stable vector bundle V of degree zero, then there exists an integrable connection labla on V, such that for any positive degree and any sub-bundle, sub-bundle K in the symmetric power of V of degree zero, the connection of the symmetric power of labla uh, on this uh, SDV preserve K. So apply this property in our situation, we find the uh, integrable connection on this, uh, this direct image shift, okay? Such that the symmetric power of this connection preserve the kernel of the multiplication map for any D from N. This means that for any, for each point uh, in U, we'll find the analytical labelhood and, uh, and a flat base V for the solution of this connection and the such that the kernel and this, in the symmetric power of this bundle is spanned by a flat subspace. Okay, this means that we find a base on the direct image of the purely, uh, purely, relative purely uh, uh, canonic uh, line bundle over, over delta such that the coefficient of all polynomial in the idea defining the smooth fibers of our family on the, on the birational embedding is locally constant. But this is a contradiction to as uh, is no as a trivial. So you get uh, uh, a nice pool. A any question? Okay. So uh, if no question, then we we, uh, we, 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 we 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 continue to the section six. Okay. Geometry. Okay, geometry on the on the on the on the on the modular stacks of manifold. Okay, first uh, um, um, we, we are interested in answer called the rigidity problem. Okay, and um, okay, we, we, we look at fixed uh, log pair. 
Okay, so let M to be the, the, the set of isomorphic class of family from the uh, from the um, um, uh, from the uh, from the uh, uh, from uh, family of we to this uh, log pair of n fold of semi stable canonical Lyman with fixed uh, here the polynomial. So um, the generalized uh, Chavalet program over function field ask the finiteness finiteness of m. The problem is reduced uh, to the following two sub problems boundaryness of M and the rigidity of M. The boundaryness of M, I mean, has, has been shown by uh, some people for family of Abinwas is due to fallings, family over one dimensional base is due to uh, Bedulas, Fivak, and Fivak, and myself. And finally, uh, Kovac, uh, Leblis show the boundaryness for family over high dimensional base. The rigidity problem over high dimension, uh, the rigidity problem uh, of family of high dimensional fiber is quite subtle, as there exists no rigid family of high dimensional variety simply by taking the product of two families of low dimensional fibers. But under certain additional condition, certain additional condition, we expect uh, the rigidity uh, property holds true. As initial step, uh, uh, Java and Pe Peyaka, Song, and myself recently show a so called unpointed Shavalevich conjecture. Hold true. And this, uh, this means that, um, okay, so this means that let uh, F be a family of N fold of semi ample canonical line boundary with a quasi finite classifier map. Let C be a quasi projective curve with a smooth compatibility C bar. Which contain endpoint in C with lambda, with lambda, it is n bigger or equal to this, this lambda. Okay, depends on the fiber dimension n and it depends on the on the on the degree of log form on the on the on the base curve. Then for any fixed set u1, un in u, the set of isomorphic class of low constant morphism C from C to U with the phi C1 equal to U1, phi Cn equal to U is finite, okay? But uh, the proof is uh, not so very difficult. Basically, we, we use a certain negativity. The, this, the, 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 the second, uh, second piece of uh, deformation is certainly has, is negative in some sense, okay? In some sense, in some sense. So you, you get a, a bound. In fact, you have to apply Simpson's polystability argument uh, to, to show um, you get a really the, 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 this kind of bound. Okay, but uh, very recently we, we expect, okay, with uh, this very uh, recent progress with uh, Ariel and the Lu and the, and the Surya and myself, um, we expect one pointed, one pointed Shavarevich conjecture hold true. Okay, it should follow certain hyperbolicism of you. And this is the best results we can expect in general. And certainly this one point is the Chavalevich conjecture hold true for any base admit a quasi finite uh, period map, okay? But here we do not have this uh, quasi finite map. We have only a family with maximal variation. Okay. So this is the, the, the 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 uh, the um, okay the question so maybe I should go to the next ne next step to the uh, Lehman fixed metric on the modular space of manifold okay so um, um, so now the, the last section I like to to raise some some problem on the topological Hyperbolic. Just uh, remember that from a punctured uh, Lima surface U, if it is hyperbolic, if and only if the fundamental goal is infinite and no ability. So now we will introduce the following definition due to Murnau, a growth function L associated to a finite generated group. It's defined as follows for each positive integer S, let Ls to be the number of things distinct group elements which can be expressed as words of length small to s 
with the fixed choice of generators and their inverse. Okay, this is the, the growth function. Uh, there's a theory due to Milno, the fundamental group of compact and demanding manifold with all demanding section of curvature less than zero. Demanding section of curvature less than zero has expo exponentially growth. So the pool is relies on the Gunther's volume comparison theory on exponential growth of the volume form of the geodesic ball on the universal count of M tilde. Motivated by Milner's uh, uh, theory, we introduce the notion a quasi-projective manifold is called topologically hyperbolic. If from any positive dimension subarrival, if for if sorry, if for any, if for any positive dimension subarrival Z in U, the image of the fundamental group grows exponential, uh, exponentially. Okay, we make conjecture. Let U be a base parametrizing manifold, canonic line bundle, and with a quasi finite classifying map. Then U is topologically hyperbolic. Okay, if U is carries a no constant injective, uh, uh, carry, um, uh, carry a no constant uh, Torheli map, then the pi one of U is no abelian and finite. I believe one should be able to show it grows exponentially, okay? But maybe not so difficult. And um, now uh, we look at, uh, do we have some uh, evidence? Um, without um, uh, uh, without uh, assuming the existence of a Torheli map, a priori, the following theory, the fundamental group of a finite modular space of projective surface of Kodai dimension equal to one and without multiple fibers in the Itaka, Itaka, in fact, it's elliptic fibration, okay? Uh, the fundamental group grows exp uh, exponentially. Okay, so we have this kind of small, small evidence. Um, now, uh, you, you, you may ask you how, how, what is going on for the general case. Uh, we propose a strategy uh, to, the, to this conjecture. Similar to the approach here improving the complex hyperbolicity of U, we hope to construct a demanding things the metric on U. With the iteration of a Kodai Spence map, whose courage has certain negativity. Okay, there's some, uh, some evidence. Wu and the scene generalize Muno theory to the Finkstler setting by showing that the Gunther's volume comparison theory holds true for Neiman Finkster metric with negative flat curvature. An analog of remaining section of curvature in Finkster geometry introduced by uh, SS Chun and also Bao Chun and Shen. Okay, so in our situation, by taking the finite sum of complex Finkster metric coming from the finite many different structural cover, we obtain a no degenerated complex things the metric on you, which naturally introduce a no degenerated demanding things metric on you. We are aware that in generally the demanding things the metric, a demanding, a demanding curvature decreasing principle does not hold true for real submanifold, but very recently uh, uh, together with uh, Stephen Lu and uh, Sun, we observed that the fact that the purely harmonic map of the composition of horizontal period map with the projection to the symmetric space of no compact, no compact type implies decreasing of Neimanning curvature. Still hold true in a weak form, okay? In a weak form. We expect that uh, this weak form of no, uh, negative sectional curvature can be used to show the Gunther's volume comparison inequality and get solution of uh, conjecture. Um, on the fundamental goal by Milner's uh, origin argument. Uh, 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 I, uh, I, I think uh, I, I just uh, uh, st stop here. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe some questions. Okay, okay thank you, Kong, for a very nice talk. Yeah. Thank you for a good talk. 
Uh, also yeah. for a super for a superhuman effort to finish early with all the slides that you had to <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, yeah. So, so okay. So does who uh, does anybody have any questions? Just one question that uh, I had is in the rigidity theorems, you assume some yes. direct image is semi ample, and. Uh, is it, is it enough to assume something like big and nef? Semi ample is. Uh, 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 okay, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go the, the, the rigidity. Uh, let's go the rigidity theory. Okay, so uh, this is the theory. Uh, okay, we assume the family of semi ample canonic lineup. Yes. Yes. This is your question. What's your question? Uh, for uh, yeah, for example. Uh, we can also assume uh, the, the manifold. Uh, uh, okay, same ample is some uh, some uh, some uh, uh, some condition. I yes, because in the pool, we, we use uh, sort of uh, we use this comparison this comparison theory between deformation Higgs bundle and uh, and the system of Hodge bundle. So therefore, we have to use. Uh, the the Kawamata Felix uh, um, positivity re, 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 re results. Therefore, we need the fiber to be semi ample. At least, the fiber should have the good minimum order. Okay, this is a little bit of weak. But anyway, we need uh, the existence of a, of a, a differential form, a, a purely a canonic form on on the fiber. Anyway. But uh, if the fiber is a rational variety, I, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, we do not have this kind of unpointed re 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 rigidity. Yes. Yes. OK, thank you. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you a question? So in the, yes. part about, in, the, in the part where you say you have a strict to error scale of inequalities, so yes. you're sort of you, you're using the flat bundle type of theory to kind of rule out the case of equality, right? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah that yeah, seems yeah, yeah. that doesn't seem completely uh, Com natural to me in some way. I mean, shouldn't so wouldn't you expect to act, when when you have the strict inequality? Wouldn't you actually expect to have at least like an epsilon improvement or something like that? Epsilon. Some kind of epsilon. I mean. So some kind of improvement, uh, yeah. like some uh, okay. quantitative you, you mean, improvement okay, rather than just a strict inequality. Uh, yeah, I understand you are looking for the optimal uh, inequality for the- well, I don't know about problem. optimal, but at least it seems like instead of having a strict inequality, it seems like- Yeah, just epsilon- You should be able to say that it's seems, bigger than something for I, epsilon. I, I guess, I guess maybe this inequality is asymptotically optimal. <laughs> I don't uh, know. You, uh, you think that that might be a, uh, uh, okay. I think totally, maybe, 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 but I don't okay. know. Okay. But, but uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's difficult. Uh, this is a good question, but it's, it's difficult. But you see this kind of inequality is related, related to the uh, Kuhlman, Kuhlman art, art conjecture on the, on the uh, uh, Shimoa, 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 Shimoa curves sitting uh, Shimoa variety is sitting in the tidy locals, uh, but uh, it's related, uh -huh. but uh, but still it's weak, but we cannot put this kind of strong results. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, more questions? Anybody? Okay, so if there are no further questions, so let's thank uh, Kong again for, uh, for his uh, nice uh, lecture series. Yeah, okay, thanks again. Yeah.